Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And it's a preppy streetwear brand just trying to build with my community so you guys can get your drip on and add something new to your closet. Okay, today's episode, this has been the talk that's been going around in these YouTube and these TikTok streets. And it's to talk about revenge cheating. What? Now, when I think about revenge cheating, I say to myself, you know, it's that feeling of you might not want to leave a person, but being what they did to you, don't want them to get away with it. And you try to match the energy. But usually that energy ends up hurting both parties. So we're going to get different takes on it. And, um, you know, it, it just I think this whole revenge cheating, it all depends on everybody's circumstances on how it can be. How you can go about it all right but you guys let me know what you think have you did it before or you know have you had something done to you in this kind of matter you let me know um down below in the comments love you guys and thank you for tuning in and supporting your boy let's get it mickey made it mickey made what you made mickey Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. It's 2024, and some people still believe in revenge cheating. So revenge cheating is when you cheat after your partner cheated on you. And a lot of people revenge cheat because they are hurt and they're trying to make themselves feel better and they want to hurt their partner. But the thing is that this never really works because revenge cheating is never going to do anything for you. Yes, you might feel better while you're cheating or afterwards, but then if your partner really does not care about you and is committed to cheating on you, they're never going to feel hurt. Yes, their ego might be hurt, but they themselves, they're not going to be hurt and nothing is going to change. And if you as a woman are revenge cheating on your man and your man finds out, we all know that they all say men love themselves. Nobody wants to stick around with a cheater. And why are you, as somebody who's not a cheater, why are you trying to compete with a cheater? Why are you changing who you are because you got cheated on? Yes, some people can say, no, I want to cheat back so I can show him that, okay, I can also do it or I'm better at it. Okay, and then what's the reward at the end? Like what's going to happen at the end? Are you guys going to fix things or what's going to happen? If you guys fix things and this person goes back and starts cheating again, are you also going to go back and cheat again and then repeat the cycle, fix things, cheat and cheat and cheat and cheat again? Why not just decide to be in an open relationship or open marriage or whatever it is? I personally do not believe in revenge cheating because it's toxic, not toxic to your partner or toxic to the situation, it's toxic to yourself because you're acting out of character because somebody hurt you and you're trying to prove a point. Do you guys believe in revenge cheating? Have you ever done it? Did it work out for you? Or what happened? Please, let's talk about this. What's the most petty thing you've ever done? I am so proud of myself for this to this day. I caught my ex cheating. So, in true bisexual fashion, I screwed his side chick and his sister at the same time. Did I mention that his parents knew? Let me know if you guys want a story time, because it's amazing. You know, women forgive men. They know men cheat. They know they know us. So they'll forgive us if they really want to be with us. That's they rationalize this in their mind. But what they don't know is that women do forgive cheaters, but they also go and cheat afterwards. It it might not be physically, it might be emotionally. They might emotionally cheat with another person. They might do something to get some type of revenge that you don't even know about. I mean, you never know. They could go be going out on dates. They might not be sleeping with people. But they could be going out on dates, lunch dates. You don't know. So, that's what I'm saying. And and some sometimes when guys cheat, and the woman knows she's not gonna leave him, but she finds out they cheated. Sometimes she won't even confront him. Mm -mm. Sometimes she'll be like, you know what? You know, I'm glad he's got someone to do my my dirty work now. I don't have to do it anymore. And they just stop sleeping with them. They just slowly say, okay, well, 
not tonight, honey, not tonight, honey. I, I, I don't feel good. And they'll just slowly back off from them and not want anything from them, right? And the guy won't even get suspicious until it's too late. The guy will be like, well, I'm getting it somewhere else anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but what he doesn't know is she might start sleeping with somebody else too. And just tell that person, oh, we have an arrangement. And you don't know about the arrangement. The guy doesn't know about the arrangement, but the woman does. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm trying to say is people cheat for different reasons. Men mostly cheat because they're, uh, they can't please their main woman. Oh yeah, that'll do it. So don't harp on the details about your partner cheating on you, right? They cheated on you, just cheat back. Yeah, great solution. If you live a life where someone's toxic actions, your partner's toxic actions, they can do things that are really messed up and that's all they got to do to get you to start acting out of your character, then it's saying a lot about you and your growth. Don't ever give anyone the power to work you out of your frame to where you start doing stuff that doesn't serve your spirit. What are you going to do now? Go cheat with someone that, I don't know, kind of looks attractive just so you can get this revenge? I mean, how far out of alignment with who you truly are are you if you're going to do something like that? See, I always find it interesting when people give solutions like this to their partner cheating. They go get kind of revenge and everything else. Because my thought process always goes, why are you even staying in a relationship? Why even stay to go cheat back, right? What's that doing for you? Why not just leave the person that is cheating on you so you don't have to deal with someone that cheats? But see, that's when the ballgame gets fun. Because the real challenge is to ask yourself, why you don't believe in yourself enough to leave and find that? Revenge cheating is when one partner wants to get back at the other partner, often in response to a partner's infidelity. There are generally two types of revenge cheating. First is sexual, having sex with someone who is not that partner, and emotional, allowing yourself to become emotionally attached to somebody else. Revenge cheating is based on a couple of factors. The first factor is cost. Is it worth the mental and emotional effort to hurt this partner back? The second factor is anger. The hurt partner needs to decide how angry really are they uh, as a result of this betrayal. And finally, it's external validation. The hurt partner needs to decide how important is it for me to make my partner suffer for crossing me. An example would be sharing this cheating behavior with outside family and friends, almost as a humiliation tactic. We want to think before we're acting here because we can't take behaviors back once they've happened. Just remember who you are. And All I'm hearing is points, 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 y'all. A lot of great points that you can take with you, even if you got a positive video, write them down. And make this a part of your life if you're going through these type of situations. Or if you feel these type of thoughts, you want to feel revenge. These are these points that they're making are going to be the points that can heal you from all that type of thought. And thinking different, differently in different situations. How you want to be. So have you had revenge sex? Yeah, I have. Oh, oh was it bad? Was it, that bad? it was bad. But I mean, so they were out of town. My person was out of town. Um, so your boyfriend at the town was out of town? Yeah. Okay. My boyfriend was out of town and the person they kept saying I was cheating with was their friend. So I'm like, okay, cool. And I was staying at his house. So So you fucked nigga at his house? <laughs> in his bed. Oh what? Hey love. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so so the dude so the dude that you was dating mm -hmm. was accusing you of cheating mm -hmm. and you wasn't. But right. you knew he was cheating. Oh, yeah. And so when you knew that, he went out of town. and he was. Standing. I didn't know it, though. I just didn't say anything. Okay, but he, he went out of town. Mm -hmm. And when he went out of town, you fucked in his house, in his bed. And smoked his weed. And smoked his weed. Yeah. Question about your revenge cheating. Did he find out? Do people with borderline personality disorder seek out revenge, segs? I'm not saying the actual word because I don't want this video taken down. Whether somebody else has actually done something to hurt them or the borderline's perceiving that they've done something wrong. Yes, this can absolutely happen. Specifically for me, if someone else has cheated on me in the past, then I go and do the same thing to try and get revenge on them. In the moment, I feel like it's gonna make me feel better, but it never ends up working. Also, it's really a control thing. You hurt me, now I need to show you that I'm not a fool and I'm gonna go hurt you back and I might do it worse than you did. I'm gonna make you feel my pain and then some. Because if I'm gonna end up taking you back, or even if I'm not, because I'm not gonna look like an idiot where you're gonna do something like that to me that's super humiliating and I'm just gonna sit there and not do it back. You hurt me, I hurt you. And revenge is really, really big with BPD. It's actually like something super characteristic of BPD. There's been studies done on this. Part of it is because of the ego. 
You cheat on me, you've completely destroyed my ego, especially if I take you back. So I need to do the same, and then if you take me back, then we're both equal to each other. We've both just taken back a cheater. Or we've both just taken back someone that's been with somebody else, not necessarily cheating. And a lot of times people with BPD will try to take revenge with multiple people, so you're the bigger fool for taking us back. Like in a case where the original cheater only cheated with one person. Now there's other situations where a borderline could assume that you're cheating on them. They feel like they have enough evidence, but they really don't. And so they're like, all right, well, I don't have the actual evidence, but I know it's happening. And I'm not going to be a fool, like staying with a person that I know is probably cheating on me. So I'm going to go and do it myself so that I can feel better about myself. It's a competition. It's a game. It's all about ego. It's all about power and control. And then maybe just in general, if you did something that really made us like angry enough to say break up with you, but say that we like really still love you, maybe we will go and be with somebody else because we feel like this is the ultimate revenge. It's the only way that we're going to be like, okay, with staying with you and like get over what happened. It can be kind of used as a coping mechanism to deal with whatever feelings we're feeling regarding what you just did to us. And what better way to get past these angry feelings towards you than to just seek revenge. I just feel like if you want to get your lick back, do it. Who are we to judge? Because honestly, some people deserve it. I absolutely get and support cutting people off immediately when they betray you, blocking them completely out of your life, and moving on without them while continuing to level up, never acknowledging them ever again. I believe in that. I'm all for that. I try to practice that every day. But I also understand why people want their revenge, why people match energy, why people treat people the way that people treat them. I get it. Because a lot of people out here need to be told about themselves. A lot of people need it to happen to them. And even if that's not true, we feel that way. Because what are we supposed to do with all this hurt besides heal? We're always healing. Everyone is always saying, go heal. Let it go. Move on. Where are the people penalizing the people that are putting us in this position to have to do all of this work? Where are the people ready to crucify those people? Instead of getting mad at us, for being rightfully upset. Sometimes it truly is a natural reaction when someone hurts you consciously and betrays you intentionally to wish for them to feel and experience what they have chosen to do to you. And I don't feel like we should be out here judging people for being able to do what a lot of us secretly wish that we could. Cause while absolutely every single day of my life I actively practice not caring about the people that have caused me harm. That does not mean that if I could go back in time, that I wouldn't act out the way that they deserve for me to act out. If you catch me on a bad day, when a memory makes me mad. Because on any other day, if I had the opportunity to go back in time, I would have bypassed all of these people. Everyone would have been blocked before the moment they were conceived, blocked. And your parents for having you, because why? You know, because that's how much I desire peace. But I'm not going to sit here and act like I have not had moments where I've wanted people to feel what they have made me feel. Because to the right of all the healing, because everything you own in the box to the left, is the underlying of a lot of these people need to get got. I'm not sorry, because there are just some levels and layers of betrayal where when you cross those lines, I can't wish the best for you. I don't even want to. I make an active effort to wish for you to be humbled so that you can change your ways. But that's very hard, especially to practice daily and live by. I'm not here to validate anyone's intentionally harmful behavior that crosses the line defined by the laws of wherever you are. All I'm saying after what I've been through, completely understand revenge. Not wasting the time because I'm tired and I'd rather be happy, but not judging you because maybe that's going to make you happy. I don't know. You get betrayed enough, you'll understand. The girlie who's been ghosted, betrayed, led on, done so dirty and so wrong. And you want that revenge serves cold. And you want to make them deeply regret ever hurting you. This is how it's done like a pro. Use this knowledge wisely. We're not going to do what they're expecting. Tears, a paragraph text, a social media post. We're not going to do anything that validates them. Because it's actually what they're wanting from you. As a matter of fact, it's deeper than that. They are craving it. By any means necessary. But in this case, they're using control tactics. What's the number one way to control anyone? You make them react. You make them hand over their power. And your power lies in your investment of energy. So guess what, babe? Take
taking their stuff, whatever crazy things you were even thinking about. It just reaffirms how important they are to you, how special they are. It reaffirms their power over you. All of that validates their self-worth and importance. That's all it does. It makes them more powerful. Make no mistake, they were never out to hurt you. They were out for your love. Your reaction, your reaction lets them know they're loved because they don't have it for themselves. Only they don't know it. So we're gonna make them know it. We're gonna make them realize it's not us they hate. It's themselves. And we're gonna do it by catalyzing them into shadow work. For any wounded person, which they are, considering their action, hurt people hurt people, remember that. The worst possible thing they can do is confront themselves, is look in the mirror and be like, damn, I'm the problem. We're gonna do this by disappearing with no explanation, no tears, no reaction, definitely no social media posts. If they're not eaten by regret, they will be consumed with self-reflection. They will have to question themselves, not you, and that's what you want. In the process, you become the best version of yourself to the point your realm of reality is out of their league because again you didn't meet weakness with weakness you stepped into your power you're literally untouchable unbothered queen just remember you want this for them because it catalyzes change and growth between both of you this is how you keep your dignity and grace and haunt their minds forever okay these are one of those situations i have to ask you guys do you want the truth or do you want the truth truth hmm Okay, the truth truth is sometimes sex feels better than the love because the love has died down or might not have the same steam as it once did and sometimes that new steam of having sex and that sexual because when you're single and having sex it's more about dominating more about domination and it's a lot more to it than when you're in a, a couple and a partner is cheating on one partner and the next partner decides to do some kind of revengeful revengeful cheat cheating there's other ways that you can go about it but i can't tell people how to feel and that's just being truthful about the whole thing we all human and we all want things out of our life and we sometimes we take our disappointments in different ways so you guys let me know down below in the comment section how you feel have you ever did any revenge cheating or anything or have somebody did it to you you let me know and i'll get back to you guys you know my morning show monday wednesdays and fridays 9 a.m or in the comment section love you guys and stay true